everybody. We're here on the van show talking to my friend, Dan Gemeinhart. Say hi, Dan. Howdy, guys. Howdy. All right. Yeah, you're in Texas now, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, Dan, we want to know about you. And I'm going to ask you, where are you from? I am from Washington State, so way up in the other side of the country. And I don't live like on the wet, crowded side where Seattle is by the uh -huh. ocean. I live up in a little town in the mountains. So we've got lots of snow, lots of rivers, lots of mountains. It's a real pretty place. Do you, do you love it there? I love it there. I absolutely love it there. What's your favorite thing about living in the mountains? I think that I am a winter lover. I love skiing. I love snowshoeing. I love even driving in the snow and playing in the snow. And so I love living in a place that gets lots of snow every winter. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Now, Dan, do you have any pets? I do. I have one dog and he is taller than you are just about. He's a big, well, not so much anymore. Uh -huh. He's a big, huge black Labradoodle. He's a big, huge dog. And his name is Odie. And Did you say Labradoodle? Yeah, Labradoodle. Labrador. Now, I don't know what that means. So he's half Labrador, like black lab and uh -huh. half poodle. So he looks like a black lab with curly hair. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Does, does your dog do cool tricks? No, he does not. <laughs> he does lots of bad, naughty things. <laughs> uh, because sometimes I get scared. Do you ever get scared? Sure, I think everybody gets scared. C can you tell us, what, what do you do sometimes when you're feeling scared to make you not feel so scared? I just think about something that makes me happy. And I try not to think about whatever it is that's making me scared. Like maybe if I'm on a plane and the plane's about to take off and I start to get nervous because that yeah. can be kind of scary, I might think about my family or I might think about somebody else that I love or care about. Or my favorite thing to do in that kind of situation is to pick up a book and read because I always have a book with me. And dropping into a story and getting lost in a story is a great way to feel less afraid and less scared. Absolutely. So you're an author, I can see, by the book that you, has your name on it. Mm-hmm. And can you tell us what got you interested in writing books? What got me interested in writing books is really just my love of books and my love of reading. I love books almost more than anything. When I was a kid, my family moved around a lot. We moved like every year because my dad was in the army. And so I was always the new kid in school, always going to a new school and a new classroom. And that's where I really developed my love of books because I found out that everywhere I went, even though everything else was always different, the books were always the same. And so if I fell in love with a book or an author in one city, in one state, in one school, when he moved off somewhere else, I could find that same book, that same author, that, that same series at my new school. And so books were like something I could really count on. They were something in my life that meant a lot to me. And so it makes sense, then that became my dream. Since I loved books so much, it became my dream to one day write my own. So tell us about the book that you brought today. So Scar Island is my newest book. It's my third book. And Scar Island is about a boy named Jonathan who commits a terrible crime. <gasps> and I won't tell you what his crime is because a big part of the story is learning what his crime is. Ah, I see. But because of that, he gets sent to the Slab Henge Reformatory School for Troubled Boys, Ooh. which is a terrible place. It's like a half reform school, half prison. It's in an old crumbling stone asylum on an island surrounded by the ocean. And there's oh rats goodness. and there's dungeons. And the grown-ups are really terrible. And then catastrophe strikes and the boys of Slabhenge find themselves alone on the island, no more grown-ups. And so they have to survive the island and they have to survive each other. And Jonathan is dealing with like his grief and guilt over what he did. And so it's a lot about survival and adventure, but it's also a lot about friendship and things like that. Ooh, tongue twister. Tongue twister. Now Devo's gonna provide you with a tongue twister and I'm gonna pick one for you. Okay. Uh, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Red, red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. That's a tough one. <laughs> Almost got you there. Wow, that's impressive. Wow, you're so eloquent. Goodbye. Goodbye.